Welcome back to the DMW 79 series build. This vehicle is absolutely turning out fantastic and I can tell you it will bloody well want to as well because we're going to be using it on heaps and heaps of trips this year on some of the toughest tracks in Australia. So let me show you what's going on. With the interior now sorted and how bloody good does that look? We moved on to what is under the car, starting with the suspension. On this build, we went with the Dobinson suspension again, like we do with quite a few of our builds. In this car, we put in Dobinson MRA remote reservoir and adjustable shocks, as well as Dobinson front coils and leaves. In the rear, we are running a set of airbags as helper for the leaf packs also. As we know, the front wheel track on these 79s differ from the rear. It's because when they jammed the big V8 diesel in there back in 2007, it just pushed everything out. So they've run with the same standard width diff for all these years, and that really irks me. So I wanted to change that so it tracks the same as the front. So to rectify this, I've gone with the D-Wiz diff. The D-Wiz Diff has a 3,020 kg load rating. They're great value for money in my opinion and they're built tough right here in Queensland. So what else would you want? Let's show you what we've done with the GVM. This build has our 4499 GVM upgrade through it. And yes, you heard that correctly, 4499. Now that's the largest GVM in Australia on a car license on leaf springs out there for 79 series. We have two GVM options. We've got a 39.99 and a 44.99. Now these are both federally approved and fully engineered. So if you're looking at carrying more weight and making sure you're keeping yourself legal, these DMW GVM upgrades are quite a cost effective option. So you should check them out. Well, while we're under the car here, I thought I'd talk to you about clutches. Now I want to put some extra power through this vehicle and the standard clutches just do not cut it. So I reached out to the legends at NPC and I got off those guys a clutch and flywheel kit and I'll tell you what a great product that is. We've also installed an exhaust. Now this is a DPF back one from Torquet. Now I wanted to do that because I want to keep this thing compliant. I also want to let it breathe and I love the sound they make when they've got that big three and a half inch exhaust on it. Now I love the sound that much. I think I'm going to change this one from a single and I'm going to go to a twin now. So this build is a standard length chassis. But on our 300 extended ones, and we run Torquid exhaust on those, they get a piece that's 300 mil long that goes in the system, but it's all made by Torquid, so it looks all uniform and smick. The last thing we did while we are down here was we installed these cool little flexi diff breathers, and I believe it's a must when you're doing hardcore four driving and doing those water crossings, because you do not want to get any water in your diffs. about this, I'm finally down here at TJM HQ in Brenda. Now I'm super excited because I'm here to pick up some products for the 79 demo. James just told me on the phone that he reckons I'm going to be able to go through their warehouse and check it all out and pick the product himself. So how about we go have a look?
Look at all these goodies on the back of the ute. I tell you what, walking through this warehouse and getting to pick these products, thanks to James down here, it was just an absolute experience that I'm gonna remember for ages. It's like a kid in a candy store, all the awesome stuff that's in this place. But anyway, I can't show you exactly what I've picked yet because it's a bit of a surprise. So look, I can't wait, so let's go and put them on the car. <laughs> How mad's that? Got all these awesome products. Now I'm heading home back to Toowoomba and uh, yeah, can't wait to get them on the car. It's gonna look so smick.